Ok, Naturalist role gives you the lowest profit in Red Dead Online comparing to any other role. It doesn't matter what method of farming money you are using, whether you are hunting legendary animals to get samples from them, or you are getting samples from regular animals, or maybe you are hunting legendary animals in missions that crazy bitch is giving you, getting their skins and selling them to gas. Doesn't matter, your profit is gonna be ridiculous. Even hunting legendary animals animals get their skin and donate them to creeps makes totally no sense. I know it might sound weird to you because anyone around is saying wow that's the best way to get materials but I'm gonna prove it to you with test results and with calculations. As always by the way because on this channel we're not talking shit we are trying to do science in Red Dead Online. Ok, let's begin with farming legendary animals. There are two ways of getting legendary animals in Red Dead Online. First of all, you can find them in a free roam. And second, you can take mission from the crazy bitch. She's offering you two of such missions on level 5 and three of such missions on level 10. Missions are changing every 48 minutes. Of course you can try to find legendary animals in a free roam using this map and link to it will be in the description, just make sure that time and weather condition are right. But spotting legendary animals in a free roam it's a random event with a pretty low probability, so I cannot collect reasonable data from hunting them. That's why in my calculations I'm gonna use data gathered from the legendary animal missions. Let's begin with bringing legendary animal skins to gas, because it's the least profitable way of farming money. For this experiment I killed 12 animals and sold their skins and stuff like horns and teeths to gas. My total profit was $527. By the way, last week we had double payouts for legendary skins and legendary animal samples, so if you see any calculations made last week, they are not correct and not actually show you anything. Anyway, to earn this $527, it took 160 3 minutes. It includes all the time getting the mission, finding and killing the animal and bringing the materials to gas. But it doesn't include the time when the crazy b gets mad at you for killing animals and knocks you down. Because during these 12 missions it happened only one time and I had to wait like for 5 minutes only. By the way, it might be some sort of a bug that could be fixed later, because logically thinking crazy b should be offended more often when you kill legendary animals than like one time in 12 missions. Anyway, by killing legendary animals and selling them to gas, I was making $3.23 per minute or $193 per hour, which is far from being a good profit in this game. And on average, I was spending 13.6 minutes on one legendary animal mission and it makes sense because this time includes cutscenes, hunting process, time required to go from the legendary animal to the gas and time required to go from the gas to the crazy b to get another legendary animal mission. Now let's take a look on how much money we can earn by gathering samples for crazy b Again, I've completed 12 missions like that and average price for one sample was $23.5. By the way, keep in mind that sample price for the legendary animals from missions is much higher than the sample price for the legendary animals that can be found in a free room. This time I've spent less time, 145 minutes, that's because we are saving some time, since instead of traveling from legendary animal to gas and from gas to crazy b we can straight away go from the legendary animal to crazy b anyway it took exactly 12 minutes for gathering one sample and it gives us profit of 117 dollars per hour by just gathering samples via legendary animal missions which is kind of pathetic i mean pretty much any activity in the game gives you more but by selling animal samples we are also getting the stamp and when we're gathering all the stamp on one page we are getting extra payout and this payout is pretty big by the way so let's try to count it 
as well. Unfortunately, majority of the legendary animals can be found only in a free roam at the moment. So we don't have enough reliable data, but let's make few assumptions. For example, that it will require to spend the same 12 minutes to get the animal in a free roam, which is not true at the moment at least. And also that the average price for the sample will be around $18, because as you can see samples from the legendary animals not from the missions are cost much less. In fact, more than two times less. So anyway, there are a total of 42 legendary animal stumps we can get. And for getting them all, we're gonna earn $2,360. At $756 for selling 42 samples with average price of $18. And we're getting total profit of $3,116 for gathering all the stumps and selling 42 legendary samples. To do so, we would have to spend 504 minutes, so we are making $370 per hour by gathering all the stamps. And now you might say, well, that's a good money. No, it's not, because first of all, this number is probably unachievable, since you have to find legendary animal in a free roam in only 12 minutes, which at the moment is impossible. Second, let's compare this number to the profit from other roles, and if you wanna know where did I got them, check the video, link will be in the description. So Bounty Hunter is earning $380 per hour when farming legendary bounties, plus one gold bar, which is also important. Collector was making $770 per hour when farming with interactive collector's mob. Yes, now it got nerfed, but my assumption is that it will decrease our profit only like for 25%. So still collector should earn around $577 per hour. Moonshiner earns $170 in like 7 minutes. You, you actually have to do something only for 7 minutes to make that sort of money. And trader earning something from $300 if we grind in solo and deliver into the closer distance, up to $790 per hour of doing something if we cooperate with other traders to deliver each other goods together. So anyway, as you can see, the total profit of gathering samples and getting all the stumps is not so impressive comparing to other roles profit. And I repeat, with current legendary animal spawns in a free room, it seems totally unachievable. And now let's talk about giving legendary animals to creeps to get the materials in details. There is one problem with this method, because creeps gives you less materials on practice than promised. Because take a look. For donating this legendary Night Beaver Pearl to Creeps, you have to earn 55.6 dollars. Which should be a little more than half of the scale, because total material scale is 100 dollars. For some reason it shows that we're gonna get only quarter of the scale before we actually donating this legendary Pearl, just compare it to the perfect Panther carcass. But when we're donating it, we are getting more materials, but still less than 55.6 dollars that we've been promised. I would say it's around $45. Actually, I've compared this to how much we are getting from donating perfect punters and yes, it's like around $45 only. I guess it happens because the price that it's shown to you is counting this 25% bonus for donating perfect carcasses and pelts. But legendary pelt is not perfect, it has no quality in fact, so you are getting less materials for donating it. Plus, this $45 in materials is maximum that you can get, because some other legendary animals like Fox, for example, gives you less. But even if you are gonna be hunting the most expensive animals and donating their pelts and teeth or horns to creeps, it would take at least two legendary animals killed to fully fill the creeps materials. Yes, you can place camp close to you after killing the animal, but anyway, with all the cutscenes, hunting process and traveling to the camp, it would take at least 12 minutes per one animal, so totally you would have to spend at least 24 minutes to fully fill the materials. Even when you hunting the animals with the most expensive pelts like buffalo or wapiti, 
And here is the problem, we tested this before the update, again link will be in the description, and average time to get $100 in materials was a little more than 20 minutes. And with the naturalist update, regular animal spawns became even better. So now I'm pretty sure that you can easily get 100 materials in less than 20 minutes by simply killing all the animals that are spawning around your camp. And it's not simply just faster, you're also not risking of getting disconnected or being blown by a cheater while you're doing this legendary mission and lose half of your materials because of that. So I'm pretty sure that simple hunting is much more effective way of getting materials. But there is one thing that I want to mention, gathering legendary pelts and stocking them in your hunting wagon, like in the bank, might be a good idea, because in the future, at any moment when you're gonna need it, you will be able to call your hunting wagon and fully fill the material scale. So it might be a good way of savings for the future. Ok, I'm afraid that you're sleeping at this moment, so I will quick give you my results for calculating profit of gathering regular animal stumps and samples. So I've calculated all the profit from gathering stamps and full collections, minus the price for the sedative armor, because it's pretty expensive, and divided it by the time needed. I've totally got the profit of $277.5 per hour, which is surprisingly big. That's what she said! <laughs> I guess it's time for conclusion, the naturalist roll doesn't grant you the biggest or the easiest profit in the game, but it has some benefits, mostly because of cool cosmetics, and you actually can combine it with other rolls. For example, even if you're doing legendary animal missions, your moonshine is continuing to produce the moonshine, and your trader camp is doing good. But grinding only the naturalist roll is definitely not the best way of making money. Anyway, I've gave you my test results and my calculations. If you disagree with my conclusions, please argue tests or calculations, not the conclusion itself. But overall, let me know what do you think about all this stuff in the comments, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you for watching. До свидания.